I'm just going to start with saying I never thought in a million years that I would even consider doing something like this. Like making a video about a song I wrote and how it came to be, let alone even making the song in the first place. So, so yay, life goals. So I guess I'll start when I was a freshman in college. So I'd say the end half of 2021, kind of like a little bit after I started college, and then the beginning part of 2022, maybe up to like April, maybe. Like everything's fuzzy to me. But, um, like, and I posted a bunch of this stuff on Instagram as well, so you've probably already seen it there. Essentially, that point of my life has just been, like, the most hurtful, most pain, like, most painful time of my life so far. And I didn't even remember doing this, but during that time I was writing the lyrics to this song. And I think, like, each day as my life got progressively, like, worse and worse, I started to write more and more lyrics, not even knowing what could even come out of it. At the time, I think I was just writing and everything down as just like a journal kind of thing. But like, I had the mindset of like, I don't want this to be like, just a journal. Like maybe one day I can make something out of this. And lo and behold, <laughs> it's the 9th of February and I'm telling, every I'm telling all of you guys pretty much what I was going through at the time, so. But uh, in terms of like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into specifics about like what was going on in my life because I think if you like really listen to the song it's not gonna you're not gonna understand everything after one listen I can guarantee that but if you if you like take the time and like listen to the lyrics or even read the lyrics I don't know if I'm gonna post them into the description or not probably if you listen to the song read the lyrics then you can probably understand or take a good guess as to what I was going what I was going through back in the day. And I just want to really emphasize the point that, like, I'm okay now. I'm really grateful that, like, that time was just during that time, and it's not, it didn't get any worse or it didn't last any longer than it did. So I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go too much into specifics, but um, I will give, like, a general kind of thing of what happens. So essentially, start of college, you know, like, you're getting... It's a fresh new start. You don't know anybody unless you know people from high school. Automatic feeling of loneliness just kind of just kind of struck me at that moment. It didn't, it wasn't really hard for me to make friends, but at the same time, like the friends that I did make at the very start of college, I think nowadays I only talk to like two of them. Which don't, which don't get me wrong, that's a still awesome, and I and I have other friends now. But at the time when I realized that the first friends I ever made, some of them I don't even like say hi to anymore it's not because they were mean or anything it's just we became strangers essentially so right off the bat we've got feelings of loneliness and friends disappearing which are two of my biggest fears and are definitely in the lyrics somewhere but like another big thing that i remember going into college was um it wasn't just like the friendship side of things it was the romantic side as well and I had, ne I had never been in a relationship before. I had, like, obviously I had crushes on people. People have had crushes on me and I've had to reject and dealt with rejection before. So that, that stuff was nothing new. But at the same time, like, my family has kind of set up this expectation of, oh yeah, like, you gotta be the guy, you gotta be the guy that, like, everybody falls for because that was both of my parents, you know? And my family has kind of set up that expectation for me as well. So I automatically thought, okay, I've gotta be this person. So yeah, not only was there like a friendship expectation that I wanted to meet, but um, my family really drove home the idea of um, being the type of guy that girls would just flock for and just want to always be with. And I didn't, I didn't really agree with that because I know myself better than anybody, let's be honest. But at the same time, it was just a lack of confidence, which it, it does appear, a lack of confidence does appear in the song a bit, not too much because like I've gotten over that now and... At the time, I wrote those lyrics down, but I think I deleted them at some point, so. So then going into college, I kind of had this expectation of, okay, the next time I see my parents, which ended up being like fall break or something like that, I would tell them about this girl that I was dating. And to be fair, like I did find somebody that I was like really attracted to and started to fall in love with, but at the same time, like, like this person, and again, I'm not gonna go into specifics because I want to keep their identity private. But um, they were going through a lot of stuff at the time and they didn't know if they wanted a relationship or not. And I didn't do a good job of expressing that either. I kind of just appeared that I was like playing her, which was not at all the case. But then she like led me on to the point where like she really wanted the relationship and I could tell. 
but she kept denying the fact that she wanted it. And she started to say like, oh yeah, don't wait for me, which is fair. But then she kept like advancing and wanting to be in a relationship when I was starting to doubt it and I didn't say anything about it. So then as the months go by, we started talking less and less. We started hanging out less and less. And I, I will give a little bit of context. Like this person, they're the type of person that just like loves everybody and everybody loves them. So I was just having the mindset of, okay, if I can't make this person who loves everybody, if I can't make her love me, then why do I even bother trying with everybody else? And doesn't matter if they're like a partner or not, like that apply for friends as well. So then that, mi that mindset kind of inspired my behavior. I would just like stay in my room a lot, not really hang out with any of the guys in my dorm. I would barely go, I would barely go out. I'd still like take care of myself, like eat and go to class and stuff like that. But I didn't want to say I felt unmotivated, but at the same time, I kind of forced myself to um, take care of myself, which isn't the health, which I know isn't the healthiest thing. But at the same time, that's what I was dealing with. Um, so then I did end up seeing counseling, which really helped. I applaud my counselor. <laughs> And thankfully, my counselor was able to help me out of a lot of it. She wasn't like the big, like the main reason why I'm feeling better now because a lot of it had to deal with me working things out with myself. But she was still a, a really big impact on my recovery process. So I wanted to give credit to where credit's due here. Speaking of like um, romance, like romance and all that stuff during that time the 2021 to 2022 period um i i remember a really specific instance where um me and this group of friends we all wanted to like you know college stuff go out have fun go eat somewhere and then just see what other stuff we could find we ended up going to a parking lot and that was really fun so then i'd invited the person that um that i was um interested in at the time that we just got done talking about but they couldn't make it so oh well but um what ended up happening was everybody else in that group apart from me was in a relationship and i don't want to say everybody all the other couples were like clingy like towards each other but two of them were and the only reason the other one wasn't was because they had been together for like three years so so i just want you to picture this in your head real quick there's couple number one couple number two couple number three that's six people and then there's me so add that up together and you, i'm basically seventh wheeling or fourth wheeling depending on how you want to look at it and i know like being a third wheel is tough already because i've definitely done that once or twice but being a seventh wheel was just like okay why am i even what oh the lights just turned off okay so now that the lights are back on but yeah i was basically a seventh wheel that night and considering i also had this fear of being like the odd one out not necessarily in like a the weird way because i'm probably one of the weirdest people in my friend group so i don't really have a problem there but combine like the expectation and desire from your family of wanting to be in a relationship with somebody and being the odd one out in that specific area that that you held a lot of meaning to it was really rough for me but like everybody else everybody else in that group was like really cool and i still really i still really like all of them but at the same time like basically all i can remember from that night is just being the one single guy there and i don't know why but that just really hit home for me and being like the odd one out or the different person especially if it's an area that like means a lot to you like what meant a lot to me was not being in a relationship at the time so that was my like difference that really made an impact on me that kind of situation is something that i touch on in my song a little bit not a whole lot but um i touch on it in like different ways yeah so i talk about that a little bit in the first and the third verse but they're in like different ways a little bit so it's it's not just me blurting out like hey i was different like i word i word it both different ways and i talked about it in different like not scenarios but like we'll say settings let's say so then that whole instance combined with everything else in terms of like romance and stuff and then just having that mindset of oh yeah you're always gonna be like this different guy like you're never gonna get better you're always gonna be this person like you're always gonna be less than what you want to be and so this idea of always thinking that you're less than what you want to be and being less than what your friends expect you to be that's like a really big thing that i talk about in the song and something that i still live by to this day not being like less than what i want to be i think i'm i'm, I'm almost there 
but um actually um touching on that one one of my favorite lyrics by far um in the song is i think it's in the third verse it's thinking negatively the responsibility to think positively is now foreign to me so the idea of having this like positive mental mindset is almost like a responsibility at this point and then when you don't when you fail to meet that responsibility you're not just putting like yourself down you're putting yourself down in a way where like okay you can't even handle this responsibility which is basically like not just one but two stab wounds for you like i will say like that kind of thing like it hurts a lot not literally mentally <laughs> because like during that whole time like it was almost impossible for me to think about myself in a positive way and i know that's the same for a lot of people as well which sucks something that i still do to this day is whenever like you see me out in public or i'm like eating somewhere at a restaurant if i'm just going for a walk i'll always have like some kind of headphones or earbuds in not because like i want to drown out everybody else it's because i want to drown out my own negative thoughts because if, if my brain isn't constantly thinking about something else my brain just automatically goes to how much you don't like yourself and i don't know if that's the same for everybody else but that's how my brain works and that's what i was stuck with ever since like 2021 even even like till today i'd say although it's not as bad but i still like to wear earbuds but um that's not the point being stuck in like this constant cycle of like waking up thinking about yourself negatively thinking that things may never get better, and then just doing that again the next day. It put me in this mindset of, okay, that's all life is gonna be for the rest of my life. And I would say that's how like bad my mindset was. Like that was the worst that it got. I mean, of course there were days where um, I was doing worse than the day before. And like that, I mean, that happens. Like you're gonna have bad days, but then when you put yourself in this, men this really negative mental state, those bad days become like your worst days. And that's what really makes the difference between being in a, a healthy mindset versus a, an unhealthy one. Okay, so two more things and then I'll finally get to in introduce the song to you guys. I'd say like the second biggest thing that I talk about is the idea of being a different person around different people, like changing who you are to match the expectations of who everybody else thinks you are which is something that thankfully i realized pretty early on in my college life and i realized how much of a bad mindset that is to have because at that point you're not you're not being yourself you're being what other people want you to be and if you stick if you have that mindset for too long then you'll get to the point where you don't know who you are and you start to value yourself less because you can't figure that out. So then what I started to do was build my behaviors and my interests, my personality around what other people wanted to see in me because that's what they wanted me to be. And I didn't focus on what I wanted to be. And mainly towards like the end of the song, I think towards the end of the third verse, then that's where that idea really starts to come to life. And I talk about that a lot. And I will say, <sighs> Having to um, change your personality and change your interest, like based on what other people want, it is so exhausting. <laughs> like it was just not, it's just not worth it. I'd much rather like be myself and then have people naturally who like my natural personality, they'll just naturally want to like spend time with me and hang out with me. I'd much rather prefer that than just exhaust myself trying to be like, oh yeah, you like me like this, you like me like that. like. At that point, it's just a waste of time and you're not being true to yourself, which is a, a really big thing that I advocate for in my song. I guess the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, the ultimate message behind this song, besides the fact that it's basically just a quick glance into what I was like during the worst time of my life, is the idea that it doesn't matter how long what you're going through takes or how long it's going to last, you're always going to get through it no matter what. And it may not happen tomorrow, it may not happen next week, or it may not even happen this year. Like, that's just me being honest. Like, it took me two years to get through what I was dealing with. I'm very fortunate that it only took that amount of time. This could have gone on for years after. Essentially what I'm saying is, do your best to have a positive mindset and try not to look 
down on yourself too much because that's only gonna make things worse and that's only gonna make your mental health worse. It's gonna make, ev it's just gonna make everything worse for you and it's going to make every situation that you put yourself in worse because when I went through it, my negative mindset and not only affected me, it affected my friendships, the couple situationships that I was in, it kind of affected my relationship with my family, which was a big no-no for me. So do your best to do whatever you can to get out of that negative mindset. Go see a therapist, talk to somebody, and make sure you get the help that you need because that's most likely the only thing you can do. And I tried handling my issues by myself and like not talking about it and thinking like, oh yeah, I'm strong. Like I'm a, I'm a good, like I'm good mentally. Like I can take care of this. And that mindset only made things so much worse for me. Like, do what you can to fix yourselves. You may have made some mistakes in your life, or you may not have been dealt the best hand in life, whatever that, it, whatever that hand is. But you just got to try and make the best out of every single situation. And I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but you just, you just got to try. And I promise if you do, something will get better in your life. One last thing that I thought of, and then I promise I'll show you guys the song. At the end of each chorus, what I do is I always include the word up and down either once or twice. Because when you're in the kind of mindset that I was in, it your mindset just goes up and down all the time. And like your behavior, your mood, your confidence, anything like that, it always goes up and down and you never know where it's gonna go next. So if you can figure out what happens instead of it just going up and down, then that's probably the best first step you can take in order to like start recovering and getting back in the game. So yeah, that's pretty much the story behind the song. Um, this is definitely not gonna be my last song, even though it's my first. I've, I've still got a lot of songs that I'm eventually gonna release, even though this is the first one, but in terms of what songs I wanted to release first, aside from the fact that I literally made a poll on Instagram, um, I definitely thought this would this should be the first because not only is it like one of the most impactful songs that I've wrote that I've written and one of the most meaningful songs to me, but I feel like it's also like an amazing introduction to who I am as an artist compared to the person and what kind of stuff I want to like make my music about. So without further ado, I give you Going Ballistic. When it's 
It's all in your head, think you're fine, but your mind is saying otherwise Yeah, I've made some mistakes, but I've got what it takes to just own up and take All the guilt and the hate that I give to myself, killing my inner self Not about you anymore, it's just me, but there's more thinking negatively The responsibility to think positively is not foreign to me Look at me in the mirror, can't tell if it's me or if I'm exactly what you want me to be what you see, then eventually you can kiss me goodbye Cause I'm leaving your life And I'm going with ballistic, ignoring the statistics Ignoring logistics, so sit down and listen I'll tell you what happened, the Maury and Corey They had to determine the current preferred And the perfect condition, the ideal position They're out on a mission to feel what they're missing They both got their faults and they're far from perfection Can't help that they caused an excess of infection And I'm going with ballistic, ignoring the statistics Ignoring logistics, I'm sick